Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Adrian from DraftTime.com and today what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys our MLB lineup optimizers which could be downloaded exclusively on DraftTime.com. Um, we update these optimizers throughout the day. We update our projections throughout the day. And um, one, one of the best things about our optimizers is that, um, you know, first of all, it's simple and easy to use. But I think more importantly is it spits out multiple top lineups, um, which I'll get into later on. But in this case, it's going to spit out the top five optimized lineups. You could even specify 10 lineups. You could specify 100 lineups. And, and no other optimizer out there allows you to do that. It doesn't allow you to spit out as many lineups as the user specifies. And in this, you could specify however many top lineups you want to you want the optimizer to spit out which is a great feature and, and another thing that I was going to get into later on is how our optimizers for DraftKings um, really will give you an advantage and I'll get into that more later but I think I think this tool is something that daily fantasy, daily fantasy baseball players will find to be very useful uh, we have these optimizers for both DraftKings and FanDuel what you're looking at is the optimizer for FanDuel if anyone's familiar with our website and with our lineup optimizers, um, you, you would know that last year we had a lot of success uh, using our NBA and in our NFL lineup optimizers. I think with our NBA lineup optimizers, there was a point where we, we had like a nine-game win streak or something like that. So we were getting tons of praise on Twitter, um, lots of emails just thanking us for the optimizers, telling us how much success you guys have been having using these optimizers. Um, and we love that. We love hearing your guys' success stories. So uh, keep them coming. Um, I know with this MLB lineup optimizer, we'll be able to find more success. Um, so let me just walk you through it and show you exactly how to use it. Um, it's pretty pretty simple to use. All you have to do is go to DraftDime.com, download the spreadsheet. Ignore that. All you have to do is go to DraftDime.com, uh, download the spreadsheet, and all you have to do is click this button that says show me the optimal lineups and it will give you the top lineups um, in this in this field right here or rather this cell it asks you how many lineups would you like to generate uh, I have it at 8 right now you could put as many as you want uh, I probably wouldn't put over a thousand because you would probably crash your computer you know feel free to put as many lineups as you want to see and what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to optimize your lineup um, by giving you the highest projected point total using our projections in column G while still staying under the salary cap which is important um, you know because when you're when you're doing daily fantasy and you know you're doing a, a, a tournament or you're doing a 50 50 or a double up you know you're going against guys who are using non optimized lineups and by you using an optimized lineup you have an advantage over them because you're taking your optimized lineup and you're going against non-optimized lineups. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you how to do how to use this. Column A is our is our field for um, you know if you want to exclude or lock in a certain player. So suppose you wanted to exclude Alex Wood, make sure he doesn't get picked up by the optimizer. You just put an X next to his name, and that's going to ensure that he doesn't get picked up. Um, or say you want to um, you want to make sure that Joe Kelly gets picked up you would put an L next to his name and it would build a lineup around Joe Kelly so it would be the most optimal lineup with Joe Kelly in it that's not saying that that's not saying that it will be the most optimal lineup it's just saying it'll be the most optimal lineup that that Joe Kelly is in or the mo or the eight most optimal lineups in this case that Joe Kelly is in so um, that's that's what you do with column A. Column B is obviously the player's name. Column C is the player's position. D is the player's team, uh, their opponent that that day. Um, column F is the player's salary on FanDuel. Uh, we get a daily feed from from FanDuel and DraftKings. This this is for FanDuel, by the way. We we also have one for DraftKings. It's the same exact concept. Th these are our projections, draft time projections something that we work really hard on and we're very confident in our projections um, and then column H is the value which is the projected fantasy points per dollar 
So obviously a player with a higher, and that's how it's sorted right now. It's sorted highest value to lowest value. So obviously a player that's that's cheap and is projected to put up a lot of points is going to have a high value. Columns M through O are um, all the teams that are playing that night. And you could exclude a certain team by putting an X next to the team. So suppose the Red Sox already played and they already played Cleveland and you want to exclude them. You put an X next to their name and then you would go and put an X next to Cleveland's name. And then none of the players from either of those teams will get picked up. Let's go ahead and remove all of this. Okay, so today is actually 8 20, 2015, um, August 20th. This optimizer is for August 19th, so all these games already happened. But I'm going to go ahead and run the optimizer. Oh, before you do that, you're going to have to go into um, your options, add ins, manage Excel add ins and make sure solver is checked. And then once you do that, you're going to have to reference solver within your Visual Basic editor. So you would go to um, developer, Visual Basic, or you could just um, type in Alt F11 on your keyboard and go to tools, references, and make sure solver is checked. So now this is ready to run. I'll go ahead and run it. I'll put in the top five lineups um, and then I click this button show me the optimal lineups. And there you have it. These are our top five lineups for for yesterday um, based on our projections. Um, and as you can see the top lineup is using a full thirty five thousand dollars salary and it's projected to put up forty point four seven two points, which isn't bad. And one more thing that I wanted to show everyone, uh, I mentioned earlier in the video about how using our DraftKings MLB lineup optimizers, you could really, really leverage them to gain an advantage over the competition. And, and the reason being is because most, uh, most optimizers that are out there, um, they only have one position designated for each player. And as you all know, in DraftKings, um, a certain player could be considered one position or they could be considered another position. So so in this case, um, if you look at Kelby Tomlinson, you'll see that um, he's designated as both a second baseman and as a shortstop. So if it was a different um, optimizer, it would only have him listed as a second baseman and it would optimize using those constraints. But in, in this optimizer, it's saying, okay, he could be a second baseman, he could be a shortstop, and it's gonna it's it's using an algorithm to optimize around the possibility of him being either position. So uh, so I'm gonna run the optimizer with both these positions um, and show you what it spits out. And it's doing the top five lineups right now because that's what I have designated. And there you have it. As you can see, you have Caesar Hernandez, who's a second baseman and also a shortstop. And then you have Hanley Ramirez. Uh, he's considered an outfielder or a shortstop. So in this in this case you're going to have three outfielders. Um Mitch Moreland's going to be your first baseman. Cesar Hernandez is going to be your second baseman. Anthony Rendon's going to be your third baseman because that's his secondary position. Hanley Ramirez is going to be your shortstop. Uh Kyle Schwarber is going to be your catcher and then these are going to be your two pitchers. Now let's and, and your projected points is 121.796 points. Now let's suppose that we didn't have these secondary positions. We only had one position designated for each player. And I, what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll delete these secondary positions. So I, I eliminated all the secondary positions and I'm going to run the optimizer again. Okay, so if you remember um, the last time I ran the optimizer with the secondary positions, we had a projected point total of 121.796 and now our projected point total is 120.694 so as you can see the the, the projection uh, the total projection went down over one point and that might not seem like a lot but one point that could be the difference between caching and not being in the cache and, and it's, it's little things like that that make a huge difference in, in your daily fantasy so I think that by using this it's going to give you a huge edge um, so feel free to go ahead and download these optimizers on DraftDime.com. 
uh, email us support at drafttime.com if you have any questions. And, uh, you know, good luck to everyone who uses these. I think you'll find a lot of success.